Well, hello YouTube. Another video here, another snowy day. And we're seeing more and more of the whole cancel culture nonsense. We saw it about two weeks ago now when Disney canceled Gina Carano from the, from the Mandalorian from Star Wars franchise because they didn't like what she said. Although, well, it was actually an Instagram post. And I'll put up the post. Now, what she said was right. People don't like it, but it's correct. Because in these totalitarian societies and these dictatorships, it's the neighbors that usually turn in the neighbors. Which is even what you've seen here with this whole mask nonsense, where you had the governors and uh, some of these mayors, well, you turn your neighbors and you'll get a reward. It's the same thing. It's the same mentality. Now, let's take it back to what, what Gina Carano said about the Nazis, where, you know, she put up that, well, it's the neighbors that turned them into... That's correct. Anne Frank, and I'm sure, hopefully everyone knows who Anne Frank is, was turned in by a Dutch neighbor. The Germans didn't know she was in that attic, but the neighbors did. In the case of the assassination of Reinhard uh, Rein Heydrich, Hitler's number three in Czechoslovakia, which was done by uh, Czech partisans. One, the guy who turned them in was a Czech paratrooper who jumped in, but he uh, he changed his mind because he didn't want, he, he thought more about his own self-interest, so he turned in and later identified the bodies after they were shot during the, uh, during the raid on the church in Prague where they were hiding out. And the only positive side to that is in 1946, they hunted him down and hung him. But, again, the Germans would have never known that they were there if one of the neighbors, one of their own, hadn't turned them in. Now, getting back to some of this whole thing with the cancel culture, this is where we're at. This is the stuff the Soviets did. This is the stuff the Germans did. The Germans eliminated any form of culture, you know, in Nazi Germany that wasn't to their liking. The same with the Soviets. It had to be approved by Stalin first. It had to be approved and gone through them. There is instances of photographs of people around Lenin where they were later censored and removed from the photographs altogether because they didn't want to be seen with these people. Now, I don't know if any another show that that has kind of gone off the rails. I don't know how many of you are maybe fans of Last Man Standing. Last night's episode of Last Man Standing was absolutely reprehensible garbage. And I, you know, everybody's like, well, Tim Allen's a conservative. No, Tim Allen was not a conservative. Tim Allen was the, probably one of the better definitions of a rhino that you could get. He really is not a conservative. He kind of played that part. He was a Rubio conservative, which basically means a rhino. And last night's episode, there was a scene where Chuck, who is African American, went to look at a car because they were all in competition of who could find an older car to restore. And the storyline is, is this little old white homeowner. Well, we saw someone suspicious here, so we had him. We we called the cops and he took him away. And it became this, one, it became an attack on the police. And it became a whole thing about, and Chuck, you know, Chuck's character explaining to Jay Leno, who was also not a conservative, I don't know how many people think he is, saying, I wish you could experience, you feel things the way I do. Because, you know, Joe, gee, I wish I knew what, I wish I knew what to say or I wish I knew what was happening. And they kind of left the episode with, gee, 
you know, you know, Tim Allen's big thing is just doing his his podcast, you know, about conservative, and he wouldn't do it because, well, I don't know how to fix this. And it's just like, fix what? Now, the deeper part of the storyline is, when Chuck was approached by the police, he didn't have his ID on him. Okay, what? Well, did he drive a car there? I'm assuming his character drove there. So, you have someone... Let's just think objectively. Snooping around the house, looking at a car, at an old car, and when the cops show up, he has no ID on him. That is the definition of, of a suspicious character. And I have to sit there and listen to so many people say, I wouldn't care what color he was. Black, white, purple, polka dot. If I see somebody messing around my house, messing around my car, not going to the owner first, and snooping around, yeah, I'd call the cops too. And I have. And they've been white as Wonder Bread. Okay, so this whole thing turned into, but the whole problem with that show is that show was the show conservatives had for comedy. It was the last show conservatives had for comedy because that's the reason why ABC canceled it. It was their, one of their, if not their top rated show, it was right up there. But ABC canceled it, and of course Tim Allen was warned about making jokes about Hillary Clinton and Obama and so on and so forth. If you look at the last, this last season and the season before, there are no jokes anymore about politics, except apparently now this. There are no jokes about Biden, there are no jokes about whoever's in the White House. They did their one episode on the pandemic, and that seemed to be the end of it. And they basically did a time jump for a couple of years, so that they basically didn't have to to, uh, to address it or whatever. But my thing is, the the fans of that show stood by you, and by your show, when you got canceled. The fans who are conservatives love that show because they can actually get real comedy. And what did you do to those fans? You stabbed them in the back by going woke, by throwing your social justice shit in there. And who knows what the rest of the show looks like? Because I, I told the wife today, I'm not watching it now. One, it's not funny anymore. The show has not been funny this season. It's been dull. There's no comedy there. And it sounds to me like everything else with Fox, not just the news network, but it's, it's the entire mentality we're not going to do this anymore. In fact, we're going to go and start injecting social commentary. Just like every other show. Well, this is why people don't watch television like they used to. It's because of this crap. And Tim Allen, you have disappointed millions of people. Lots of fans have now disappointed. But it's just another part of cancel culture that we're seeing. And it's a cancer to society. And with that being said, YouTube, have a nice day.